kick will be the end under in Cruz kick and will go about three yards deep. They're going to return it out of the end zone back to the 10. The 15 breaks through free for a moment. Spins goes to the 27-yard line. It'll be Derek Canine. Canine starts at quarterback and he has had playing experience this year. They'll go on the ground to Womack. There's a flag down. He's caught back at the 25. They'll lose three on the first plate. Slot right, uh, and now they break the slot and come back to the left here. Man in motion. Snap it, and they'll hand off again to Womack. Right corner, caught up the 30, drags his man with him to the 32. And they will not make it back to the line of scrimmage. That was first down and five. It'll be second down and six coming. That time it was Reggie Brown, a Butkus preliminary uh, nominee uh, for that award at the end of the season. Brown into the ball game today as the number one tackler for Texas A&M. 26 unassisted and 34 total for the year. Without the huddle they're right back to the line of scrimmage. They go two wideouts now. They get three on the left side of the formation and a single setback in Womack. Womack with over 400 yards rushing and again they're going to give it to Womack. He tries the middle. He's got the first down. 40. He's at the 50. 45. 40. 35. 30. He's at the 20. Here's a diving effort and he will go in for a touchdown. Well, it was a, a draw play. There were four wide receivers, so they were spread all over the field. And once Walmack broke the uh, the plane of the defensive line, there was nobody there to uh, to stop them. The secondary all out covering receivers. Here's the point after, and it is on the board and good. And how about SMU with a minute two off the clock in the first quarter? A seven nothing lead for the ponies over the Aggies. Eric Bernard is back deep, so McElroy is not going to be in at least on the kickoff. We'll check the offense when they come out. McElroy may not play today. They were going to look at him in the pregame to see if he could go. He has a sore ankle. High end under in, almost like a punt. Fair catch. No, no fair catch. Caught at the 24, going forward to about the 30. It looked like Detron Smith that caught the ball. In the backfield, it will be Detron Smith and Tiki Hardiman. So McElroy not in the ball game at this time. Sanders wide out to the left. Clay's in that direction. Short side of the field. Now Sanders coming back this way. Hack rack the center, snaps it. They'll hand off to Hardiman. 30, 35, 36, 37 yard line on his first carry. Down at the 37. Brought down by Cornell Parker. He's a good one. A senior out of Washington, D.C. Back quickly to the line of scrimmage, facing second down at three. And again, they show motion. That's Aaron Oliver coming back right. Hardiman up the middle. He'll be caught at the line of scrimmage and dropped right there at the 37-yard line. The Aggies looking for a third down conversion. We've been very prolific this year in that statistical category. Pulling with, again, a long snap count. They'll snap it. They'll hand off to Hardiman. Tries the right side. He gets the first down. As he cut it back inside, across the 40 to the 43-yard line, so he picks up about six. Here's the first down play for Texas A&M. Again, Oliver goes in motion back to the left side. They'll snap it, and they'll throw the ball now on play action. Ball caught by Oliver across the 50. They'll spot him on the SMU side of the 50-yard line. So Aaron Oliver has just made his first reception of 1995. Young man from Arlington, a freshman redshirt. Set out last year with a uh, medical problem on the uh, on the knee, or excuse me, on the ankle. Here is a handoff to Hardiman. They try the left side on a second down play. Tripped up as he hits the 50. The Aggies will be a yard and a half shy of a first down at the SMU 48-yard line. So here's the third down play. The Aggies converted on their last third down. Third down, a yard and a half. Operating as they hand off again to Hardiman. He busts over the right side, knocks down Aaron Oliver. Also, Detroit Smith, as he ran up their back, they, their back rather, and they went right across the 45 to the 44, and a first down, so they've converted now two of two on third down conversions. Into the game today, Dave, the Aggies are 38.6% on their third downs. That's 22 of 57. They're now 24 of 59. The opponents, meanwhile, have managed just 20% this year. They've been outstanding on third down conversions, and uh, the Aggie defense has been outstanding against the third down conversion. Cottle to the left, Sanders to the right. Tight ends on the right side. It's a heavy eye. Straight drop, set the pocket at the 50. Throw across the middle, and overthrows the intended receiver, Cottle, at the 20-yard line. Steve McKinney has started at the left guard. Here's the play and a flag. Everything stops. It's second down and 10 at the SMU 44. Two flags down, illegal procedure against Texas A&M. 
Here's the second down and 15. Ball moved back to the SMU 49. Play action, deep pocket, looking for a screen on this side. They're going to complete it to Hardeman, 45, down to the 40. We'll get about nine yards out of that. Screen right, Hardeman, good blocking. End of the 40, the ball goes. So third down and six will be coming. Shotgun formation, Hardeman and Broyles now are the running backs. We have two wide outs on the left side. Snap it, pocket set at the 48, throw it over the middle, dropped out of the hands of Broyles at the 35-yard line. And here's Sean Terry, the number six putter in the nation. The putter from Gunner, who has an average of 45.4. Let's see if he's going to aim it for the sideline. Nice snap. He's pushing it this way. It's going to carry into the end zone. But with the Aggies trailing SMU this by a score of 7 to nothing. 9.26, first period of play. Derek Canine has started today in place of Chris James. He is a freshman from Mississippi. Puts a man in motion. That'll be Whitmore going back to the right side. On the ground they go to Dante Womack, and he's caught behind the line of scrimmage at the 18-yard line. Kind of bumped and pushed down by Larry Walker more than a tackle. It was a pushdown at the 18 and a half by Walker. Womack and Harmon are the running backs. And Harmon is a light eye. He's set off here to the left side. Cooper went in motion uh, left. Now goes back to the right. Pitch it. Back to the left. Goes to Womack again. Big crowd of people at the 22. And he goes down in that pile. That win led the Aggie tackling. A two-yard, make it a three-and-a-half-yard pickup since they had started that play behind the original line of scrimmage on this series at the 18-and-a-half. Two wide outs on both sides of the ball. Put a man in motion. Whitmore back to the right side. So this whole trips in that direction. Here's a draw out of the backfield of Womack. The Aggies get it this time. And he will lose a yard from the 22 back to the 21. Womack dropped by Warwick Holman. All right, uh, Ray Mickens, who was questionable before the game with a foot problem, he is out there to return the punt. So he stands back at the Aggie 43. Will be kicking into a wind of about 30 miles per hour. Anthony Scotty, wobbly kick, fair catch, call for, taken at the Aggie 47-yard line. At the 47, a fair catch by... Ray Mickens. First down and 10, Texas A&M operating at the Aggie 47. Corey pulling the man under. Running backs will be Smith and Tiki Hardeman. Long count again. Man in motion, Sanders. He's going to the open side of the field back to the left. Snap it, hand it off to Hardeman. They're coming right. He's at the 50. He lowers his shoulder and knocks a man down as he's put down at the 47 on the SMU side of the midfield mark. Back to the line of scrimmage on a second down and about four. Texas A&M. Oliver's going in motion. Back to the left side. They're going to pitch it left. Here's Hardeman looking for the corner. Lead block turns the corner. Runs into Detron Smith and the two go down. But it's going to be close for a first down. From here, it looks like he's got it by a foot. Yeah, he does. And it will be. Yeah. Well, the length of the ball anyway. Here's the first down and ten. Smith and Hardeman again. It's a heavy eye. Straight drop pulling. Going to throw back in the flats to the right side. Dropped out of the hands. Incomplete to Tiki Hardeman. On the offense, 10 yards, All right, it's an I formation, Texas A&M. Tight ends on the right side. Pulling, shouting a audible here. Looks to his backfield, his offensive line. Snap the ball, pitch it left. Hardeman, lead block, caught. Breaks the first tackle and goes to the 45-yard line. They break it and they come to the line of scrimmage. Sanders right, Connell to the left. Sanders is the flanker in this formation. Connell is the split in. Snap the ball. Play action. Set the pocket at the 39. Step up. Throw the ball. Incomplete. Off to the fingertips of Albert Connell. And then he was hit in the stomach. And he's down on his back here at about the 43-yard line. All right. Dante Hawkins is checked in. He replaces Connell. Pitch it to the right. Here comes Hardeman looking for a lead block. Cuts it inside at the 50. Across the 45 to the 42. And they'll come up short by about 10 yards after getting near 14 on the carry by Tiki Hardeman. 40-yard punt the last time for Terry. Again, he's aiming for, aiming for the sideline. A fair catch is called for at the seven-yard line. We have 5.07 to go in the first quarter. SMU leads Texas A&M 7 to nothing. And Kanayan stays in as the quarterback. Kid out over the ball. Snap it. Hand it off to Harmon on an inside handoff to the fullback. And he'll get the six. They'll lose a yard. Split in on the left side. Slot to the right. Two running backs. It's a light eye. Womack, six-yard line. Good stood man. up, and that's it. Single setback. Motion from Whitmore going to the right side. Snap it. Womack fighting for yardage. Almost fumbled the ball. He got the nine, and that's it. 
Mickens is standing down there at the 43-yard line. That's the SMU 43. So a pretty good chance here at great field position for the offense. 317 to go in the first period. The snap, high kick. Mickens telling everybody to get away. It's going to hit at the 39 and go out of bounds at the SMU 42. Very high. Mickens, no chance for any kind of return. Signal fair catch at first. And a 32-yard kick into that win. Here's first down and 10 at the 42-yard line. Texas A&M back on offense. Pullick, Smith, Hardeman behind him. Now it's going to be Sir Parker this time. And Parker will burst over the 40 and go to about the 38. So Sir Parker checks in for Tiki Hardeman. He split in right, flanker to the left. Hayward Clay is the tie it in. He's on the open side. And the Aggies go with a heavy eye. Pitch it to Parker. Good block on the inside. He gets back across the 40. Will lose a yard, maybe a half yard on that. That was a second down play in about seven. And Parker started outside and had a man there that had to be knocked down by one of the offensive linemen for Texas A&M. Might have been Ruman that got the block. And he carried back to the SMU 38. Third down, Dave, and seven. Once again, we, as we told you earlier, SMU doing a lot of stunning. It's a, it's a gambling-type defense, and sooner or later, the Aggies are going to hit one of those creases. They'll be stunning in the wrong direction, and they'll get a big play. Out over the ball. But another third down opportunity. Straight drop pulling. Pocket at the 45. Throw back to the right. Good knock away. SMU at the 30. Intended for Sanders. All right. Timeout is over. And Kyle Bryant out of a hold of Stormy Case will try one from the 45-yard line. It's almost equidistant between the hash marks. Snapped. Spotted down. The kick is no good. It had the height just barely, but it was wide right. So it'll hold at 7-0 SMU with a minute 48 to go in the first period. Kanine hand off to Womack, the middle, and he got a yard. Line of scrimmage, the 38 goes to the 39. Trent Driver, the sophomore from Cleveland, will make that stop. It'll be second down and nine coming for SMU at the SMU 39-yard line. Womack again, the lone setback. Two wide outs on both sides. Womack, the handoff, caught at the line of scrimmage. That'll be it. He got the 39-yard line. Edward Jasper, the first Aggie to get it. And they'll go to a shotgun, will the ponies, after the timeout. Tonight will take the snap standing at the SMU 35. Kid will snap the ball. He does, and it's an inside handoff on a delay. Womack got away. Now, Bobby well, got caught for a, a uh, face mask. Womack got away, and then was dropped after a two-yard pickup, and the Aggies got caught for a face mask. Somebody reached up. There's four yellow markers down on the field. And they're calling it the 15-yard yep, variety. It sure is. So the It'll be a first down. Uh, slot to the right. Two running backs. Harmon, and the Aggies jumped off sides. Pat Williams on the left side, jumped into the offensive line, made contact, five against the Aggies, 20 yards now. First down and five now. It's at the 38-yard line. Again, they go with two running backs, slot right, split in on the left side. That's Whitmore, pitch it. Coming back this way, caught, dropped back at the 44-yard line. It'll be a loss of about five on the play. It was Wallback and the first man to get there, Keith Mitchell. SMU elected to let time run out without running another play into that wind. They'll be facing second down and 11 when we come back. And SMU leads seven to nothing over Texas A&M at the end of one. And they face a second down and 11 at the Aggie 44. Shotgun, Kanine at the 50, rolls right, dropping back to his own 45. Now he throws out in the flats here on the right side. In and out of the hands of Whitmore, incomplete at the Aggie 43. It goes incomplete, third down and 11. Here's a shotgun, third and 11. Aggies may have gotten in the neutral zone. Yep, they did. They're going to throw a screen right at the 40. This is Womack out of the backfield, 30, 35, down to the uh, 25, rather down to the 20 at the 20-yard line. The Aggies were caught in the neutral zone. SMU then got a free play on that one. They're going to take the pass and have a first down at the Aggie 20. Here's the first down play. Kid over the ball. Motion back to the right from Cooper. Snap it. Play action, pocket set at the 25, throw it, caught at the 11-yard line. At the 11, no shotgun. Aggies again, got caught in the neutral zone. There's going to be a fumble on the snap from center. However, it's going to be a five-yard mark off against A&M. They snap the ball with two Aggies in the neutral zone. Offside, Texas A&M. That's going to give a SMU a first down inside the 10 near the 7-yard line. Here's Kanai. 
go with a loaded backfield. They have two running backs. It's going to be an inside handoff. That went to Harmon. Harmon, who set up at the fullback position right, will lose back to the H. Second down. Goal from the H. Shotgun formation. Two running backs. are set up as halfbacks either side of Canine. He takes the snap. He rolls to the left. Throws toward the end zone. And however, it's going to be caught at the five and dropped at the six-yard line. Caught the ball, tackled at the six. Tyfel McMullen made the stuff. Canine moving a man in motion to the right. Three uh, receivers now in that direction. And they'll snap it. They're rolling right. He's again looking toward the end zone. It's going to be caught at the four-yard line. He had two men. Now we got a flag down in the end zone. Caught at the four by Whitmore. Tackled by Ray Mickens. And it's going to be offensive pass interference against SMU. So the third down and goal from the 21. Ball rolled away from the center, Brandon Kidd. And they'll re-spot it now at about the 21 and a half. 12-0-3 to go in the second quarter. SMU with a 7-0 lead. They have moved the ball down inside the uh, 10, but now penalty. A penalty moves it back. Womack across the 20 on a handoff from Canine. Gets the 18-yard line. Keith Mitchell wrapped him up, brought him down, so it goes down at the 18. He has a strong wind at his back. Getting things set. Soccer-style kicker. Here's the snap. Not good on the snap. The kick is in the air, and it's good. And SMU now leads 10 to nothing with 11.15 to go here in the first, uh, second quarter of play in the first half. 11.15 to go in the first half. SMU 10 to nothing. Sidewinder. There'll be a return on it. And it'll be Bernard at the 5, the 10, the 15, at the 20. Breaks out at the 25-yard line. Brought down there. Bernard, a 25-yard return. His first of the season. Here's the first down play. Man in motion. Sanders. It'll go on the ground. It's going to go to Sir Parker. Coming outside. Has some yardage. He'll get a first down across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Sir Parker. Aggies have it first down and 10. Checking into the lineup, Derek Spiller for Texas A&M. A&M goes with two tight ends, two flankers, and a single setback in Tiki Hardeman. Pulling. Takes the snap, hands off to Hardeman, straight ahead. No gain on Hardeman. He is wrapped up at the 36-yard line. Craig Swan jumped on his back game. That was it. Second down and 10. Heavy eye. Detron Smith back in the lineup. He's the fullback. Hardeman stays in. They're going to pitch it to Hardeman. Going right. Started outside. Goes back inside. Wrapped up by Smith at the 35. Wade Smith around the ankles. Nothing there. A yard loss. And now third down and 11 for Texas A&M against the SMU defense. Wide out on the left side. Here's Pulick throwing the ball over the middle. It's going to be caught by Hayward Clay to tie it in at the 41-yard line. 41, no first down. And the Ags now fourth down and five. So they go to Clay who just caught his ninth pass of the season, but it's good for only about five, and it's a punt now into the win for Sean Terry. Number six in the nation. He has kicks today with the win of 40 and 47, and he almost had that one blocked, and it's off the side of his foot. It's going to hit at the SMU 40 and go out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Nine minutes exactly to go here in the first half of today's game, and the Aggies trail 10 to nothing to SMU. You're listening to the Texas Aggies. SMU at the line of scrimmage. Harmon and Womack, the running backs, goes to Harmon. Harmon on the left side, wrapped up. Reggie Brown, Dat Win, Pat Williams all on that tackle. They got the line of scrimmage. It'll be second down and 10. They go with two wideouts on both sides. They hand it off up the middle to Womack. He hits over the left. He got a yard to the 42. And it's a shotgun. Drop, roll to the right, throw deep, and it will be over the head of everybody down at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage is the 42. He'll take the snap from center standing back at the SMU 28. Return man Mickens at the Aggie 21-yard line. Little low. Ag's coming up the middle. Almost got to it. Off the side of his foot. Gets an SMU bounce. And did it go out of bounds? Where are they going to mark it out? Oh, goodness. Now nope, touchback. Touch touchback. Touch That's a good call. And the Aggies come down to the line of scrimmage. Sir Parker returns as the tailback. Detron Smith is the fullback. Texas A&M with the football at their 20-yard line. First down and 10. Pulling with a long count. 
Going to pitch it to Parker. He rolls right, looking for a hole. He finds one for a moment. It shuts okay, down on him as he picked up two to the 22-yard line. Second down and eight. And a light eye with a slot to the left. Pulling. Play action. Pocket at the 15. Throws back this way. And it will not be enough for a first down out of bounds at the 29-yard line. And it was Aaron Oliver who just caught his second pass of the day. Here's the third down play. Two tight ends. Spiller. Clay. Hand it off. Hardeman. He will pick up about seven yards across the 35 to the 36. And Albert Connell, by the way, has returned. He's in the lineup. He was injured on a play in, uh, I guess it was in the first quarter. Connell is the split in right. Oliver is the slot man in that direction. Parker and Smith, the running back. Snap it, five-yard pocket. In the flats we go to Sir Parker. He's in wide open territory, and he's ankle tackled at the line of scrimmage, and he dives forward for two yards. Second down and eight. Aggies at their 38-yard line. Motion from Sanders to the open side. They're going to hand it off to Parker. Skips it outside, looking for a corner, and he will cut it back inside at the last moment and gets it close to the 45. The official spot will be at the 44-yard line. 5.13 to go in the first half. A&M trails 10 to nothing. Oliver's in motion to the open side. Ags with a light eye, pulling, rolling to his right, looking down the field. Now he may have to run with it. Spins away from one man, can't get away from the next. He will be a yard shy of a first down. Is there a flag down? I'm looking for a yellow marker. Tom Rossley is down on a knee. It looks like Rossley begging for something over on the far I side guess of the not. field. Here comes the punt team. Might have been a fumble, but no flag. Aggies did not pick up a first down. Here's Sean Terry in again to punt the ball. He kicked his last time into the win. And it was good for only 18. Line of scrimmage is the 44. Coming up the middle. Got the goal. Oh, it's a nice one. It's off to the right side. And it's going to be taken back at the 20. Spinning away at the 19. Caught now at the 23-yard line. Here's Canine from a shotgun. Inside a handoff. Womack. Gets to the 24, got a yard, maybe the 25. Womack set up as a halfback right, cut right in front of Kanai, and he gave him the belly handoff, and then he got about two out of that. As they get it to the 25, it'll be second down of eight. Three minutes and 57 seconds until halftime, and AM has failed to score here in the first half. We trail 10 to nothing to SMU. SMU scored on its first possession, its second play from scrimmage, a 68-yard run by Womack. Single setback again, Womack. And he goes up the middle, and he will get it out to the 34-yard line. It'll be shy of a first down by about four. It will be third down and four. Edward Jasper, the junior from Troop, made Kanai with a long count. Trips formation, right side, handoff. Womack, he has a first down. He's across the 35. He goes to the 36-yard line. Shotgun formation. Kanai will take the snap from center at the SMU 31. Drops back, throws deep. Going over the middle, he'll overthrow everybody. Incomplete down at the 22. Closest men to it. We're back at about the 30-yard line. Second quarter. Trips formation, right side again. They fake the inside handoff. They throw into the flats at the 40. And it's caught and then tackled at the 42. SMU's had five different players line up at quarterback this season. Kanine's done a great job here in this first half. They're going to throw a screen out here to the right, and it'll be caught, and there's a flag down. I think they're going to get SMU for a clip. Right. Caught and Either tackled that or at the 41-yard line. Von Dickerson made the reception. And then he was hit and dropped down by, I guess that was Dat Win. And then there's going to be a penalty after the play was blown dead at the 41 against SMU. It's going to be a holding call against SMU, which uh, I'm sure A&M will decline and take the football. It'll bring up a fourth and about five. Mickens is already in to return the anticipated punt off the foot of Anthony Scotty. His punts today, 32-32, and then one with the wind at 58. Aggies decline the penalty, take the play. The reception made by Dickerson, the tackle made by Allen at the 40-and-a-half-yard line. Fourth down then, and SMU to punt. A minute 52 to go in the first half, and the Aggies trail 10 to nothing. No points here at this point in the first half. Scotty. 
takes it at the 26, had to go down on a knee. The wind's pushing it. Mickens at, we got a fly. No! He, they're saying he was down. He His took knee the snap. Touched the ground, I and believe. And he touched the ground call. back at the 22-yard line. And the Aggies get a break. His knee was down when he fielded the football. And so he is automatically down on fourth down, and the Aggies will get the ball at the 27-yard line. An eye formation, Texas A&M. First down and 10 at the 27-yard line. I may have said the 22. Handoff inside. Hardeman down to the 20. Yard line. Clock rolling at a minute 12. The Aggies, as Dave told you, two timeouts remaining. Second down coming. Slot right. Hawkins and Oliver in that direction. Two of the young guys in this receiving core. Handoff. Hardeman at the 20. Hardeman down to the 17 yard line. 57 seconds to go. The time, the uh, clock now working against the Aggies. Five seconds. Third down in the yard. Pollock takes the snap. Hand off again to Hardeman. Hardeman down to the 10. Hardeman down to the 9. They'll stop the clock to move the chains. 25 seconds. He got a first down. They'll spot him at the 8-yard line. 20 seconds. 19 seconds. First down and goal from the 9-yard line. Waiting for the snap. There's the snap. Play action. Look into the end zone. Lofting it. Intercepted in the end zone. SMU. And it's a touchback. Well, they'll have to run one play, and the quarterback, Canine, will take the snap, go down on a... And time will run out here in the first half, and SMU has a 10-0 lead at halftime over Texas A&M. And they trail here 10 to nothing today to SMU. Hernandez kicks it off, and he's going to put this one off the field of play for SMU. Flag is back at the 35, and A&M will make him kick it again. All right, a five-yard mark off. Hernandez will have to, again, use somebody to hold the ball on the tee with the wind at his back. Daniel Hernandez, ball teed up at the 30. Menards, the return man on the far side. Parker on the near side. They're both at the goal line. Here's his second kick. End under end. And no return on this one either. This one hit in the end zone and then quickly skipped out of the back. And uh, we'll bring it out to the 20. Albert Connell goes to the right side. Got Sanders on the left side. Eye formation. Parker starts at the tailback spot. They're going to give it to Parker. He has five yards as he goes to the 25-yard line, just across the 25 to the 26. Nice lead block, first of all. Kobe Agrat. They run right behind the Aggie center, and then Parker uses a block by Detron Smith, and he gets about five and a half, and Seth Sinton, who was active in the first half, made the uh, stop. Connell to the right side. No changes in the offensive line. Starters all still there. Pulling, looking over the offense. Now in the snap count. Takes the snap. Hands it off again to Parker. He goes across the, he's still on his feet, across the 30 to the 35, 36-yard line. Last six yards, he got that with a man on his back, and it was Eric Tomlin, a 230-pound inside linebacker who was riding on his back. He got a five-yard ride there on the uh, Sir Parker train. Sanders in a slot on the right side. Connell is the wide out. Again, it goes to Parker. A little stutter step. He's going to get about five out of this. Closer to four as he goes near the 40. We're just into the third period of play with 13.42 to go in the third. Aggies with a light eye. Sanders in motion to the right. That's the open side. Pullick takes the snap. Hands off to Hardeman. He hits up the middle. He's across the 40. Line of scrimmage, about the 39 and a half. He goes to the 42-yard line. Aaron Oliver to the right side. The tight end, Hayward Clay. Connell is a split in left. Heavy eye. Pulling, handoff, Hardeman. Hardeman bulldozes for a first down. Connell is a split in on the right. Oliver is the flanker. He brought the play in. The Aggies go with an eye. Pulling, pitch right, Parker, right corner, sidesteps. He's across the 50, he breaks a tackle, spins off that man, goes to the 47-yard line. Into SMU territory, Sir Parker. Pulling is under center. Motion from Oliver back to the left side. Line of scrimmage, the SMU 47. Sir Parker looking for the left corner with some speed. He will be drugged down from behind. Aggies operating from the left hash mark, SMU side of the 50. 
Royal stays in at full back. Tiki Hardiman is the tailback, both freshmen. Pulling the man under, puts a man in motion. He's sending Oliver to the wide side of the formation. Hand off inside, Hardiman hits over the left side. Let's make it to the 40-yard line. Inside handoff, bursted over the left, got three. High formation, Oliver again goes in motion. He's running toward Connell over on the right side. Hand off, Parker, Parker, nice hole. He will pick up the first down at the 32-yard line. Sir Parker to the SMU 32. Now the holes are starting to open up. And Chris Sanders checks in, and uh, Aaron Oliver comes out of the uh, lineup. Well, it's almost like they went in at halftime and said, you know, it's about time for us to start to go to work. And the offensive line doing a good job of blocking and not making any silly penalties. And the back staying fresh and hitting the holes, and the Aggies are just moving it right down the field. They try and Smith back in the lineup. Sir Parker stays in a tailback. Sanders goes in motion. They're coming up the middle, and the handoff goes to Parker. They blitz Scott Parker at the 35-yard line. On a first down and 10, the Aggies lose three from the 32 back to the 35. So the blitz was the call, and they wrap Parker up for a loss of three to the 35. High formation. Tied in is on the left side. And the handoff goes to Parker. He goes inside. A little step there, and he's across the 30. He goes to about the 27. He got the penalty back, plus five. He picked up eight there. It'll be third down and five coming at the 27-yard line. Detron Smith is flanked out right out of that backfield. He's in a light eye formation. Sanders went in motion. They hand it off Parker. Parker is tackled from behind, but carries that man with him for about a yard or two as they take it to the 27-yard line. Everything's been on the ground now on this drive. That would be Tiki Hardiman in there, tailback now. Fourth down and about four. They need the 22. The ball is near the 26-yard line. Here's the play. Slot right. Pollock wants to put it in the air. He will out of the flat. It's going to be caught and then dropped by Hardiman. Incomplete at the 28-yard line. The drive stalls out. The clock goes down to 8 minutes and 42 seconds. And we're going to get an official's timeout down on the field. And SMU has a 10-0 lead. They're going to line up with a formation that sends five men out here to the right side of the formation. They have one man over the ball, Brandon Kidd. And uh, the 25-second clock is down to four, down to three. And they will snap the ball out of that formation. And there's a flag down, and they will throw the ball, and it's incomplete. I think once again, A&M has jumped off sides for no reason at all. There's only one man with the ball, and the center is in the middle of the field, and there's nobody around him. Well, let's see if that's the call. There are two flags down at the line of scrimmage. SMU with a formation that had the center over the ball. They had it's, uh, it's offsides against A&M. And you're right, there was no call for that at all, Dave. A trips formation, three to the left side. That's the wide side of the field. Single setback and a split in here on the right. He's almost offsides. And they'll hand off to Womack. Womack and dropped at the 30. A loss of about a yard there. Second and five will be coming. Slot to the left. Derek Canine again is the quarterback. Freshman from Mississippi. Done a nice job today. They put a man uh, left to right. Now he goes set. That's Campbell as a fullback. And it's going to be Womack and Canine running into each other on the handoff. And after Womack got it, he made it back to the 30. And now it will be third down and about six. Here's the third down and six from the SMU 30. Out of a shotgun, Womack dancing out to the right side, bottled up, goes down, tackled back at the 21-yard line. Well, he was trying to stretch it left, and the Aggie defense would have nothing to do with it. And they wrapped him up, Keith Mitchell, the first man. That's a tackle behind the line for Mitchell. And now a punt. It'll be Anthony Scotty. In the first half, he kicked three times for a 40.3 yard average. The wind is at his back. Line of scrimmage, the 21. Micken standing at the Aggie 37 yard line. One of the nice things about a long kick with the wind is the coverage can't catch up to it, and Micken should have some room. I snap. They're coming up the middle. They miss it. Here's the punt return from the 33 at the 40, looking for the sideline. Got a block. Goes out of bounds at midfield. At the 50 yard line. Had some great blocks on that return. From the 33 to the 50, that will be a 45-yard kick by Anthony Scotty. 
with the score, SMU 10, the Aggies nothing. Six and a half to go in the third quarter. First down and 10. They'll come out in an eye formation. The tailback is Sir Parker. The fullback is Smith. Handed off to Parker. Gets about three. Carries to the 47-yard line. Here's the second down play. Heavy eye. Pulling. Play action. Pumps. Going deep. Has a man, Sanders, waiting for the ball. Incomplete. And they're going to get pass oh, interference against SMU and Dewey Evans at the 19. Here's the first down play. So the penalty to the 31 on the defensive pass interference call. Aaron Oliver's in motion. He's going to the, ten, the uh, tight end side. The handoff, Parker breaks the tackle, spins away, 30, spins away, 25. He went down at the 25. Well, the he fumbled, three. too. I don't know if no, he, no, he went out of bounds. I know he went out of bounds. He's down at the 25-yard okay. line. The ground caused the fumble. They went out of bounds here on the near side, and Eric Tomlin responsible for the tackle. Aggies are coming to the line of scrimmage with six seconds on the 25-second clock. Heavy eye, inside handoff, goes to Hardeman, the line of scrimmage. And now the Ags face a third down at the 26-yard line. Dante Hawkins. Split in right. Sanders on the left side as a flanker. Eye formation. Sanders is going in motion on this third down play. Faking the blitz. They snap the ball. That'll be five against With SMU and a first down for the Aggies. SMU is in the neutral zone. Hackrack snapped it. But now SMU is clapping their hands. They say that the Aggies jumped. It's a legal procedure against AM. Five-yard penalty, ball moved back to the 31-yard line. Third down, down a little more than nine out of a shotgun. They're coming up the middle, and they're going to throw over the middle. Here is Hawkins. He can't get to it at the five-yard line. Throw it over the middle at the five. Hawkins trying to get to it, using all the speed he could muster. Couldn't quite make it. He was about four yards away when it didn't, went incomplete. Fourth and about nine from the 30. Fourth down play. Oliver to the right side, Hawkins to the left side, shotgun, running backs, Parker and Smith pulling the quarterback, takes the snap, drops back two, throws over the middle, and it is he incomplete, but he got mugged. Sanders is interfered with at the nine-yard line. That'll be an Aggie first down. At the 15, first down and 10. Aaron Oliver goes right, tight end is on that side of the formation. Hayward Clay, it's an eye in the backfield. Pulling hands off to Detron Smith. Pulls his way for three to the 12. Eric Tomlin. And that will be the first carry today for Detron Smith who's done a great job in lead blocking for Sir Parker and Tiki Hardeman. Second down and about seven. He picked up three to the 12. Light eye. Motion Sanders. Open side of the formation. Pitch right. Parker. Looking for the corner, won't find it. He's going to be dropped for a loss at the 15-yard line. Half of the SMU defense was over there to meet Parker when he hit that corner. Seth Sinton was leading the tackling, and three of his teammates quickly joined in. The clock will roll down. The next play will start for AM with less than three minutes to go in the third quarter. The Aggies trail here by a score of 10 to nothing. And the Aggie offense totally dominating the football here in the third quarter. SMU has only had it for three possessions, or three plays in one possession. Here's the third and ten. Trips formation left side. Single setback. Sir Parker. Play action. Pulling. Throw it. Over the head at the goal line. Incomplete of Chris Sanders at the goal line. He threw over his head. And this is a 32-yard effort from the 22. Hash mark to the right angle back to the left. Kyle Lednecki is the deep snapper. It's been snapped. It's spotted down. Here's the kick, and the kick is no good. It's wide left. He will miss here from 32 yards. He's missed from 55. He's missed from 32. And SMU will take over with the ball and 2.35 to go in the third, and they lead by a score of 10 to nothing. Midnight Yell practice next Friday night, Indian Springs Park in Waco. Handoff. Womack at the 21-yard line. That's all he'll get out of that. On a first down and 10 from the 20. Second down and nine. Single setback. Play action. Canine rolls. Throws. Incomplete at the 26-yard line. To his right, he was rolling. Trying to hit Cooper. He drew coverage to Cooper from uh, Ivan McMullen, McMullen, but it was out of the reach of everybody. And SMU will counter with a shotgun. Womack stays in as a running back. Canine takes the snap. Drops back, throws, and it is almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. 
oh, at the 35-yard wow. line, and that was Whitmore they were trying to hit. Stands at the 35-yard line. The Aggies were coming last time. They have 10 men up on the line of scrimmage. Here's the snap. Had to move a little bit to his right and get a good kick away here. And here's Mickens. He's going to have a chance. It's going to be taken at the 28. He is across the 40. He dives forward about the 44, so he got a nice return from the 28 to the 44-yard line. Single setback, split in right, Flaker left. Flaker's in motion, Sanders. Timeout, pulling. First down and 10, the Aggies burned a timeout when they came to the line of scrimmage. Single setback, same formation, no motion to this point. Now here it is, Sanders goes in motion to the open side. 46-yard line, play action, Pollock rolls, throws, flag down, and it'll be caught at the 50. It's Connell. He gets six. Let's see. There's another flag. It comes out. There's another flag. Well, I can tell you what's going to happen here. It's going to be a hold against the Aggies, and it's going to be a face mask against SMU, I believe. Three, one, two, three flags down on the field, and Larry Fisher will uh, eventually tell us what has happened. Pass was caught by Connell for a six-yard pickup to the 50. Baseball fans, come see your favorite Aggie baseball players from the past at the third annual alumni baseball game. The game will be held October 28th at 7 o'clock. First down and 10. The only thing that hurt, of course, was the clock. It took about 10 seconds off the clock. Here's Pullock. Takes the snap. Hands it off. And it's going to be a loss in the backfield. Now he got back to the line of scrimmage. He gave that to Parker, and Park now he lost a half yard. Ags come out with a heavy eye. Sanders is also loaded up on the left side. Now he's moving to the right as he goes in motion. Here's Pulling. Drops back. He wants to throw. He will out in the flats. Caught by Hawkins. Hawkins is wrapped up as soon as he ball. He got the line of scrimmage. Third down coming. Time is run out, and the Aggies will take it to the fourth, and they trail 10 to nothing. It's the bad news. The good news now is they're going to have the win for the next 15 minutes of play. 10 nothing SMU. Third down play. Adams at the line of scrimmage. Heavy eye. Flanker to the left side. Pulling. Play action. Sets up to throw. It's a screen. It goes to Parker. 45 50. He has a first down. Breaks out at the 40. He has a chance. He has a man to beat. And he will beat him. He's going to score a touchdown. Parker in a screen. That one is going to go 56 yards. And the Aggies score the first four seconds of the fourth quarter to make it 10 to 6 and the point after about to come. 10 to 6. Kyle Bryant. He's perfect on his extra points this season. He is 15 of 15. It's on its way and he nailed it. It's 10 to 7. 10 to 7's the score. The Aggies cut it to 3. The SMU lead. 14-46 in the fourth. SMU now will be working into the wind. Here's Ryan Pillins, and his kick is a sidewinder that is going to go into the end zone. They're going to try to bring it out at the 10. Down the sideline he goes to the 25, and outside right at the 25-yard line. First down and 10 at the 25. They'll uh, have play action. Canine throws back this way. It's out of the reach of everybody. Incomplete at the 35. Second down and 10 at the 25. Hash right, SMU. Trips formation. Actually, it's a slot left. They have a running back faded in that direction as they go with a light eye. On the ground, Womack gets away. 30, 35, 40. At the 40, he gets 15. Got Warwick Holman out there right now for Texas A&M. Here's Canine. Timeout, SMU. Something was wrong. His running back jumped up behind him. Campbell said something to him. They had to use a timeout. They stopped the clock at 14-11. First down and 10. Play action. Canine rolling right. Looking down the field. May have to run with it. He is tackled. Fumble. And fumble oh, he stays down. down. Down at the... No! It's fumbled and SMU has lost it. And they've given it to the Aggies at the 38-yard line. Larry Fisher, now they're looking underneath the pile to see who has the football and who's come up with it. I think that That's was Reggie an overrule. Brown. I think the referee overruled his, Thank you. His, his linesman. Now they're still talking, the linesman. The referee is just uh, motioning that it's a and ball. It. Tom Rossley has just thrown his hat down on the fields. Right in front of the official that... Uh, uh, that 
initially said that it uh, he was down when he fumbled it. Larry Fisher, the referee, ruled uh, that no, he saw the fumble. Unlike last week, when the referee refused to uh, rule in favor of the Aggies on a fumble that definitely was a fumble twice in the ballgame. But today, Larry Fisher steps in and does the right thing. First down and 10 at the 38-yard line. Aggies get a fumble and will try to turn a turnover into points. Pulling with a heavy eye. Handed off to Hardiman around the left side. He will get about eight as he goes to near the 30-yard line. Stopped at the 30 and a half. High formation. Smith and Hardiman tied in Clay to the right. It's the open side. Snap. Handed off to Hardiman. Hits the 30. 25. 20. Runs over a man. 15. 14-yard line. Tiki Hardiman. First down and 10 at the 14. Sir Parker runs into a little pileup here. He had a defensive player in Hayward Clay and Detron Smith all laying on the ground at about the 15. He ran into those two and fell down. And the Aggies lose a yard there to the 15-yard line. Second down and 11. Jackson Moore was kind of laying on the ground when he'll get credit there for a tackle. Even though he had been taken out of the play, it was more of a problem of Parker trying to get away from a SMU defender and running into Moore. Might tell you that Cornell Parker has returned to the lineup for SMU as well. Heavy eye, no light eye, Texas A&M. Parker stays in a tailback. Maggie show motion here from Sanders. Pulling hands off. He goes to Parker. Parker's down to about the okay, 10. Three, sir Parker. Sir Parker carries to near the 10-yard line. Here comes Tiki Hardiman back out on the field. Eric Tomlin on that tackle. Now the Aggies will face a third down. SMU opponents this year are 16 for 21 when they get in the red zone. Their defense has had a tough time trying to stop folks. Single setback. Here it goes to Hardiman. Hardiman fighting for his first down. He has it at the two-yard line. Left side, handoff. Good blocking down to the two, Tiki Hardiman. First and goal, Texas A&M. Cornell Parker on the stop. Two tight ends and two fullbacks. Boyles flanked out to left. He sets up behind Spiller. Now Boyles going in motion to the right side. The ball. They will hand off to Hardiman. Fighting touchdown. Did he get in? TD, Tiki Hardiman. Aggies take the lead. Here's the extra point by Kyle Bryant. Spotted down, it's on its way, he missed it. Off to the left side, 13 to 10, will hold the score there. No extra point, it's missed to the left by Kyle Bryant. 13-10, 11-29 to go. In the game, the Aggies lead by three. Hardiman gets the touchdown on a two-yard run, extra points missed. It's 13 to 10. Here's the uh, kick. It's going to be a bouncer that goes out of the back of the end zone. Hardiman, in a, uh, as a true freshman, he's the first true freshman to rush for 100 yards since Darren Lewis in 87 against TCU. He had 194 yards. It's Tiki Hardiman today. Handoff goes to Womack. He has the 21. Maybe the 20, that 21 and a half. Donovan Greer out there defensively for the Aggies. Shotgun formation. Canine looking left, looks right, throws, and it is incomplete. Going to get two flags. Defensive pass interference on the Aggies. A good call. They bring Harmon in. He's the lone setback. Womack is not out there right now. Here's Canine. It's going to go to Harmon. Harmon hit first by Jasper. Leland McElroy held out today because of an ankle. Second down and nine. Womack back in. Lone setback. Goes to Womack. Starting outside. Has some yardage. 40. Caught. Dropped. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. Not enough for a first down. It will be third down and about three coming when they come back to the line. Ray Mickens, an open field tackle on Dante Womack. Here's the play. Play action. Canine throws. And it is incomplete at midfield at the 50. Here's the snap. About knee high. Here's the kick. Fair catch. Nope, no fair catch. Mickens will take it at the 11-yard line. And he had a fair catch, and then he was knocked down. So now the Aggies start 89 yards away, but they've got the lead. 9-10 to go on the clock. 
leading 13 to 10. A&M in uh, total has a 45-yard kick, by the way. That was a good one for Scotty. Got a good bounce. He went 45. Here's Pulling at the line of scrimmage. Sanders, who's been in motion all day, does the same thing here. The Aggies will hand it off to Sir Parker. Inside, now back outside. He's going to go to the 20-yard line. And the Aggies now to the line of scrimmage on the second down and short. Come out with a light eye. Sanders again coming in motion back to this side of the field. Hand off straight ahead. Nice hole. It's Hardiman. He's out to the 30s, to the 35, to the 38-yard line. Pulling with an eye formation behind him. Detron Smith and then Parker. Parker handoff. Hits the middle. Got about two yards. Line of scrimmage was the 37. Picks up the 39-yard line. Second down. Pulling single setback. Parker. Smith flexed out left side. Parker looks for the left side. Then he will get it across the 40 to about the 44. Third down when the line when the team comes back to the line. They will need four. They'll need to make it to the Aggie 47 yard line. Third down and about four yards. The Aggies need the AM 47 yard line. Four more. I formation. Pulling under center. Hack rack. We'll snap it. They'll hand off to Parker. They try the left side. They get the line of scrimmage. Fourth down coming up. Aggie offense did a good job there, moving it from their own 11 out past the 40-yard line to give Terry some room to punt this ball with the wind should pin SMU deep in their own territory. Back deep, that's going to be Dickerson. Here's a punt that's going to hit at the 10 and now roll into the end zone. They'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. SMU will look at the clock. Six and a half minutes to go. SMU has it first down and 10 at their 20. Derek Canine, handoff, Womack. Right side, a half yard, no more. Second down and nine. Edward Jasper chasing the play off that defensive front. Wrapped him up. And the two went swirling to the ground. And now Canine says something to Womack. He goes set left. Kid snaps it to a shotgun quarterback. Screen almost intercepted by Mitchell at the 15. He had a hand on it. They were trying to, get it, trying to get it to Womack. And Womack was really caught behind two Aggie defenders. And Mitchell trying to bring it in. Had it go off his left hand incomplete. And now third down and nine SMU from their 20 and a half. Womack. He is a halfback left. Canine drops back to a shotgun, standing at the 15. Takes the snap, starts to his left, sets up, got away from the initial pursuit, throws the ball incomplete at the 27-yard line. Going to have a flag to Kevin Thornell. Incomplete, and apparently they're going to get the Aggies for defensive pass interference. Looked like a good defense to me. Came around the body and away. Defensive pass interference, a and Wow. Trips formation to the left. 544 remaining in the game. Shotgun. Womack's a halfback. Here's Canine. Looks to uh, he is left and then throws back to the right. Caught at the 31 and then dropped immediately. Johnson by Donovan Greer. Shotgun once more. SMU. Halfbacks to the left. Here's Canine. Steps up in the pocket. Throws. And it is caught. Uh, by Johnson at the 43-yard line. They trail 13 to 10 to the Aggies. First and 10 at the SMU 44-yard line. Inside handoff Womack. He will punch that one across the 45 to the 48. Here's the shotgun again. They have lined Womack up right as a halfback on the right side. Standing to the right of Kanai. There's the snap. Stops at the 40. Throws to the sideline going down there and it is intercepted by the Aggies and stepped out at the 25 was Donovan Greer. He intercepted it. Took that away from Johnson. We were talking about Greer earlier and how they hadn't been throwing at him. But it's going to go against A&M. Rub out the interception. Rub it out and give the ball back to SMU. Offsides against the Aggies again. Second down and a yard. And they're going to go in a quarterback draw, and it's going to go to Kine, and he's going to get the first down. He's across the 45 to the 44-yard line. He'll pick up two. First down and 10, SMU at the Aggie 44. There's the snap. Drops back to the 46. Kine steps away from the pressure. Now he'll be sacked and dropped at the Aggie 45. He dropped all the way back to his own 45, stepped up into the pocket, and then got it back to the 45, and they lost a yard. 
And they've got a slot formation on each side of the ball. Single setback, Womack out of the shotgun, standing at the 50. Inside handoff, Womack, and he's tackled at the 48. A loss of three. That win. Win had him as soon as he took the ball on that inside handoff. He had set up as a halfback left. Stepped right toward Kanine, who gave him the ball, and Dad said, I saw that. Slot left, two halfbacks. Kanine, shotgun, starts back, hit as he throws, and it is caught at about the spot needed for the first down. First down and 10 at the 34, SMU driving. Closing minutes of the game. Quarterback uh, run again. Here's Kanine. He will get about three or four on that one. We're down to 129, 128 here at the ball in the ball game. Trips formation right side split in left shotgun again at the 31. Kanine steps back at the 40, throws and it's almost intercepted by that win. Knocked down, got a hand on it. Was intended for Whitmore and uh, Whitmore was covered up. Minute they, 18 uh, left. All right, slot formation. Trips on the right side. Hash mark left. Kanai to get on the quarterback draw. Up the middle he goes. He has a first down of the 21-yard line. Kanai on the quarterback draw again. To the 21, a first down, SMU. And SMU trails 13 to 10. They have it at the Aggie 21-yard line. First down and 10. Kanai just ran for a first down out of a quarterback draw from the shotgun. Takes the snap, drops back, looks right, dances around. He's looking, and it is knocked away in the end zone by Donovan, Donovan Greer. Greer. Greer got in front of the intended receiver, Johnson, and knocked it away. Thornell goes wide right. They got Cooper in a slot right. Two halfbacks. Aggies coming. They're throwing back left, and it is out of bounds at about the two. Incomplete, out of bounds. Kyle McMullen playing center fielder there, looking back, hoping to get an interception. But by the time the ball got to a point to where it could be caught, both receiver and defender were out of bounds by about two or three yards at the two. At the 21, here's Kanine. Trips formation right, slot left. No running backs in the ball game. Kanine throws. He is going to throw a touchdown pass to Thornell in the end zone. Touchdown. And the point after about to come. Here is Ben Crossland. Kevin Thornell just caught his first pass of the day. It was 21 yards. Here's the extra point, and he hit it. And now SMU on the upper end of a 17 to 13 lead. And the Aggies have just 56 seconds with which to work. And it's been a tough go all day for the offense. All of the offensive points have come here in the fourth. Ball blows off the tee. Ben Crossland will go back out and tee it up. It'll be interesting now to see how they play this one. Probably a squib kick. That was the fifth scoring play of today's ball game. SMU with 56 seconds. I'll tell you what, that was a heck of a drive. 80 yards, 15 plays. Killer, of course, was when the Aggies had intercepted the ball only to find out they were offsides on the play to rub out the interception. Here's Crossland. And he's going to kick it high in the air. And up back is going to have to take it. It's going to be Parker, and he's knocked down. As soon as he catches the ball, he took one step. He went to the 29, and they flattened him there. Aggies will have a shotgun. They have the wind at their back. They have 54 seconds left in the game. They snap the ball. Pulling sets the pocket at the 21. He will throw to Aaron Oliver at the 47-yard line. That will stop the clock to move the chains. Shotgun again. Pulling. From the 40, throws, and it is tapped away, incomplete at the 30. Trying to get it to Sanders. Aggies again, shotgun formation. Bullock stands at the 43, takes the snap, drops back to the 39. Throws, caught, off, no, it's incomplete, off the fingertips. Oliver at the 35-yard line, now third down and 10 coming. 30 seconds left in the ball game. And now they have 30 seconds to go. And they trail by four. Shotgun again from the 40. Pollock forced out of the pocket. Now he will throw to Oliver. Makes the reception at the 40-yard line. SMU 40. Stop the clock to move the chains. 23 seconds to go. A&M quickly to the line of scrimmage. Connell here on the right side. Two wideouts on the left. Shotgun formation. Halfback either side of Corey Pollock. No tight end in the ball game. 
from the pocket near the 48. Throw over the middle. Incomplete off the hands of Connell. It's going to be a flag. defensive pass interference call against SMU. Connell at the 23 tried to haul it in. And a 15-yard mark off the 40 will move the ball down to the 25 with 14 seconds left in the ball game. Shotgun formation. Running backs are Parker and Smith. They're set up as halfbacks. Either side of pulling. Snap it. Drops back to the 33, throws toward the end zone, and it will be caught, caught, caught a catch! Caught. It was Connell. He went high in the air, and he caught a touchdown! Touchdown, Albert Connell. He went high in the air and caught that over two defensive backs. He went 25 yards. They just hit him on the end line, and there is a flag down, but it's going to be, be a celebration. celebration against the Aggies, and Connell just caught it. Touchdown, Albert and that is Connell's first catch of the game. That went from 25 yards out for the touchdown. There are eight seconds left in this ball game. Extra point to come would give the Aggies a three-point lead with eight seconds left. Stormy Case will hold it. Spotted down. Here's the kick, and he hit this one. A&M now leads at 20 to 17. 20 to 17 over SMU. Well, that'll be a play that uh, a lot of Aggie fans that were here today are going to talk about for a long time. The catch just made by Albert Connell to avoid being upset by SMU. Kicking off from the 10 after two 15-yard penalties. Donovan Greer will put the ball on the tee. He'll have to hold it for Kyle Bryant. It's a squibber, and it's going to roll down to the SMU 39. Womack looking for some running room. Open field tackle. He's going to be slung to the turf, and he just fumbled the football. It's free on the turf. The Aggies fighting for it. SMU, no, the time has run out. A flag is down. Flag is down. The ball is free at the 10, and the ball game is over with. But there is a flag, flag down. down. There is a flag down on the field. I think we may or may not have one more play. I think it's going to be against SMU for pushing the football. There is a flag down, and so until we find out the meaning of the flag, this ball game is not over with. The Aggies have a ball that come out of there. Back at about the 12-yard line, the squib kip was finally fumbled by Womack, started rolling back down the field, everybody hitting it and touching it, and finally somebody had a loose football down at the 13. One of the Ags came out from underneath that pile with it. I think that may have been Sean Horn, who came out with a ball. The uh, cannon sounded, the clock went off, and a flag was, the clock went to double zero. SMU now is walking this way as if it's over with. And here is Larry Fisher. Larry Fisher. The offense on the return was the legal backward pass. Ball game is over with. It's over and time has run out. And the Aggies have come back to win a thriller at Kyle Field in their final matchup against SMU in Southwest to win it by a score of 20 to 17. This one, thank goodness, is over with, and A&M has won it over the Mustangs. Final score, Texas A&M 20, the Mustangs 17. Well, uh, I knew it was coming to me because Coach called to play from the press box at the top. He said we're going to uh, do an all-vertical ride where he said we're going to try to we're gonna throw the ball to AC. And um, I'm just glad he had the confidence in me. And I knew once I saw it, Corey made a great throw. And I knew once I saw it in there, I just had to get, a, you know, get there before the DB got there. So I just jumped, you know, beat him to the ball. And I just squeezed it so I you know, wouldn't come out. <laughs> Well, we knew we were only going to have uh, one or two shots left, and uh, we had to get it in the end zone. There wasn't any uh, field goal that was going to do the job for us. So uh, Albert's a big play receiver, and uh, we had to give him a chance, and uh, he made an outstanding catch. Just a big-time play, and uh, that's, uh, that's something I told one of the coaches in the locker room. Uh, uh, you know, one of the things that in evaluating the passing game and evaluating Corey uh, when you go back and look at it, Corey has not had a bunch of of big time catches like that made. You know, we, and, and a lot of time you watch the NFL and watch those different things. You know, there there are a bunch of completions and touchdowns from guys who are laid out sideways, making diving fingertip catches and leaping up like Albert did today. And uh, you know that goes down as a great throw and great catch. And you have to give uh, Albert. Uh, 
credit for jumping up and making a, a catch, but that's what you that's what you have to do. You, you can't have every one of those things where you say, you know, it's got to be thrown exactly on the money and thrown right in the hands for it to work. You know, some of those things, if you're going to be successful, it's a two-way deal where every once in a while those those uh, receivers have to make the quarterback look good. You know, and we we haven't had a lot of those. So I was pleased that we and I've said since he got here, he got a late start. But I've said that he is a guy that gives us a weapon that we really haven't had. You know, we've not had the guy to make those kind of catches. Well, I, I think, once again, it's very fitting that Corey Pulling made a number of key plays in that drive and demonstrated once again why, uh, why I have not tried to make a change at quarterback or anything like that. I've seen Corey Pulley play and I know what he's capable of and uh, I've said all along that, that our problems uh, offensively have not been uh, uh, Corey has contributed but uh, a whole bunch of his teammates have also contributed and I was happy today for him to come back and uh, uh, redeem himself there at the end with his teammates and with the, with the fans of going down the field and making some great throws and, and uh, taking us down the field to win the ball game. <clears throat> oh, I think uh, the race is going to be an exciting race. If you look at the, at the history over the last three or four years or so, there have there, been a lot of uh, teams beating each other. Uh, I think the league this year, uh, as, as far as I can tell, is probably as balanced as it has been in terms of we've got a bunch of teams that are on a given day, I think, capable of playing against each other. So you just, you know, our, our thing right now, I think our position is just to try to keep winning week after week, not to get all hyped up about this or that or worried about who's playing uh, who, but just say, let's worry about us and try to get our team better, try to win every week, and then on down the road, we'll see, see where we are.
opening of this place.